Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you today? This day is... Oh. <laughs> I am so tired, but I am here. Okay. What, what what do you do at work, Rene? Um, I sell. I work to collect invoices. Ooh, ooh. But you work in an office, so you just receive the. Also, you receive the client, the client, clients, 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 and. I work in the sun in the area of some of coverage. For example, Primavera, Primaverita. Oh. These, uh, these are these are so bigger. You go out. Yeah. Ah. Door, door to door or home by by home. Oh yeah. That's exhausting. With this, with this heat. Oh. Today's today has been very hot. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes, teacher. Very hot. Yeah. This weather used to be in March. I remember March was very hot in April, but now in May. Anyways, this is crazy. Okay, people, we're almost all together now. Everyone is here. Let's get it started then with the first attendance of the evening. So please turn on your cameras. I'm going to take the first attendance. All right, ready? Okay, let's start with Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Listen. Okay, very good. Welcome. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good evening. Good evening, Consuelo. Eric Edenilson Escobar. Good evening, present here, teacher. Okay, Eric, welcome. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher, welcome. Welcome. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. I can't hear you. Microphone. Present, present. Ah, okay, <laughs> that's good. The personal session is with you tonight, Evelyn. Okay. The 10 minutes at the end okay. of the class. Okay, so okay. Prepare your questions. Excellent. Hernan Antonio Chacon. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Hernan. Jennifer Gabriela Arevalo. 
present teacher. Okay, hello, Jennifer. Hi. Are you driving? Yes, teacher. Okay, be careful. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Hey, good evening. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Here, present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jose Miguel Massa. Present. Perfect. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Where are you that you're still wearing mask? <laughs> I'm trying to, to make a doctor for, to, to be a doctor for my, my father. I'm oh. hoping to curar, curar. Eh, estoy tratando de curar una herida de mi papá. Oh, okay. Yeah, they go uh, doctor. You could say clean or <laughs> to clean the change the... or yeah. Okay. Good. Good luck to your dad. <laughs> Thank you. Luis Miguel Corvera. Good evening. Present. Good, good evening, Luis. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Okay, welcome. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Okay. René Alessandro Teresón. Here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Again. Ruth Abigail Brito. Okay. Present. Okay. Uh, pero... Present, teacher. Okay. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. Present, present, present. Okay, Sofia. Uh, William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Okay, welcome. Suleima Rosibel Catalan. Not here. Jorge Luis Martinez. Present, teacher. Okie dokie. And Jose Fernando Marroquin. Present teacher. Perfect. Um, just a comment. Ruth Abigail. Este, ¿Por qué se ha puesto oyente? Es que fíjese que hoy me llamaron, que como no puedo estar eh, a veces eh, escribiendo o interactuando, me dijeron que me pusieron como oyente. Ah, sí, y le dijeron que lo escribiera ahí en el, en el, escribiera que esa palabra oyente. Es que ese término ahí solo es para cuando no, han, no se han registrado por alguna razón y se les permite estar en la clase, pero usted está registrada y puede generar confusión la palabra oyente ahí en su nombre. Porque usted no... Ah, es... que... Sí, bien raro, porque hoy me llamó la señorita de allí de inglés corporativo y me dijo que cuando me conecte a la primera hora me ponga oyente porque no puedo estar interactuando, por lo menos para que me estén contando los minutos. Me dijo. No, yo entiendo que esté presente como oyente. Perfecto, pero no le ponga la palabra oyente. Ok, teacher, entonces me salgo y vuelvo a entrar. Gracias. No, 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 solo cambia el nombre. Solo uh, hay okay. que cambiar nombre y, y quitarle la palabra oyente. Ok. Ajá, nada más. Gracias, perfecto. 
¿verdad? Ok, people. Let's see. ¿Qué nos quedamos ayer? Ayer. Ah, uh, we were talking about how much and how many, right? Yeah. <clears throat> um, we have seen, well. Let's finish with the, with the material in the book first, and then we are going to, to do something else to practice. I want to practice a little bit more about simple present, affirmative, negative, and questions. But we need to finish with the book. Um, actually, yeah. Yeah. Let me show you this. Okay, let me share the screen with this. Okay. Okay, just to refresh your mind. So we talked about the affirmative form of B. We also practice some um, with some exercises, writing affirmative sentences. We studied the third person singular. We studied the different uh, forms of the S, E, S, and I, E, S for the third person singular. Remember, um, where was it? This, we studied this, remember? Uh, third person, the rules for third person singular. Most of the verbs, la mayoría, we only add S. Verbs ending in consonant plus Y, consonante plus Y, we, change the Y for I and write ES. So study becomes study, try, 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 etc. And other verbs ending in O, S, H, C, H, X, and S, S, we add ES. Eh. And we did some exercises about that. Right? Here, now we work on this exercise. Perfect. Um, but today I want to practice first the negative form, the negative form of the simple prayer. And we have that here in the book, let me show you. A nice lesson in the book is this negative statements um, in third person singular that is he she it negative statements with he she and it <coughs> yeah and if you see for example, the examples, Maria does not work at HPBC. Marcos does not stay late at work. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. We do not send letters. Okay. So the structure for negative sentences in simple present is this, right? 
subject plus auxiliary could be do or does, not, the verb, and the complement. Okay? This is the structure for negative sentences. Subject, in the first case, the subject is Maria. The second sentence, the subject is Marcos. In the third sentence, the subject is Juan and Pedro. And last sentence, the subject is we. Then the auxiliary could be do or does. Remember, um, no. that we use do for I, you, we, and they. I, you, we, and they. We use do with I, you, we, and they. And we are going to use does with he, she, and it. No? Hacemos eso, no? Igual siempre acá en las en las negative sentences se aplica la misma regla. That's why here we use does. Maria is she does not. Marcos or he does not. Juan and Pedro, ah, they. Do not. We do not. Okay, that's the sec. Then the verb. Look at the verbs. We use in the verb in the base form. Work. Stay. Write. Send. The verb will be in the base form, always. Even though we are talking in third person, the verb will be in the base form, all right? We don't say Maria doesn't works, no. Maria doesn't work, Marcos does not, stay late at work. Juan and Pedro do not write. We do not send letters. Okay. That's the negative form in simple present. So, um, I have an exercise here for you. I want you to practice. We're going to work on this. You have to complete these sentences with negative form of the verb, the negative form of the verb. Do uh, not watch, not like, not work, not listen, not have, not have, not do, not go, not like, not exercise. Example, number one. I don't know. I do not, or the contraction, remember, don't. Don't. Watch, let me change color. I don't watch movies on Netflix. Or, okay, so that is what you are going to do with this activity. Complete the negative form of this. So first, let me Take the screenshot and send it to you in WhatsApp. Mm 
Okay, hey, you're fast. <laughs> okay, thank you, Atilio. Atilio already put the exercise in WhatsApp. Any question, people? Okay, if not, I'll put you in small groups to practice, to complete the exercise. See you in a moment, okay? Join the groups and complete the sentence. See you in five minutes.
Teacher, we have a question. We had already done that exercise. I couldn't. Teacher, can you hear me? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry I was on mute. Okay. Yes, tell me. Teacher, este ejercicio ya lo hicimos. Oh, really? El 29 de abril. Ah, okay. You didn't tell me. Eso estábamos intentando llamarlo para no perder el tiempo. Okay. Eso ya lo hicimos, esa, esa, ese ejercicio. Okay. Problem, let's go back then. Okay. Este accidente dejó como resultado a dos hombres con múltiples lesiones y Okay, somebody told me that you we did this exercise already. Yes, I, I got it, teacher. Ah, okay. For two times. Okay, good. Then let's move on. What is writing in WhatsApp? Let's move on to practice questions. Okay, we already practice affirmative, negative, then. So we're going to practice questions. I have something else. Let me go here. Do we study? There's no questions. Or not? It's all right. Okay, so we are going to study this question. Now remember, just to refresh, this is something you already studied, but that is the, the, the topic that we have in the book, simple present. These are information questions, right? So information questions, if you remember, begin with an question, a question word. These are the question words. Yeah, who, what, when, where, why, how, how often, and how much. Yeah, yep. that is the first thing in an information question. The question word. The question word is the first thing in an information question. Then second, the auxiliary. Again, do with I, you, you, we, they, and does with he, she, it. And again, finally, the verb in the base form. So the order is question word, auxiliary, subject, and the verb in base form, always. Who do you, uh, yeah, 
have? What do you like? When does she study, for example? No. So these are the structure for information questions. Let's practice that. Let me see. Let me prepare here. I'll give you a link to go to this exercise. Let me share the link here. And the exercise is this. Okay, that link will take you to this activity. All you have to do is organize the words to ask WH question. Here. Yeah. For example, number one, where? The first thing, the question were. Where? What is next? The where do they come from? The auxiliary Ooh. is next. Next. Thanks. The subject and next, um, and finally the complement. Just where do they come from? And that's it. So you have the link there. Join, go to this exercise, please, and complete the questions. Act or oh. I mean, write the questions in the correct order. That is the activity. Okay. Okay, I'll give you time to do it individually here. So join the link, go to the link and uh, work. I'll give you 10 minutes. And after Mr. that, she does. You see the link? It's in the chat. The chat. No, in the chat here in Zoom. Todos entraron, pudieron entrar al enlace. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Oh, let me show you something. When you finish, you can go here where it says terminado. Click there. And then you go here. Comprobar mis respuestas. Click there and the exercise, the, the page will show you the correct answers and the incorrect answers. Correct answers will be in green. Incorrect answers will be in red or pink. Teacher, the link is in the chat of WhatsApp or here oh. in this workshop. 
Here is chat. Okay. Here is Zoom. When you finish, raise your hand, please. So I will know that you are done. How much? Don't you want?
teacher, si las quiero corregir, cuando ya las mandé a, a verificar, ya no puedo. Este no, mute, no, profe. No, yeah, thank you. No, you have to repeat the, the whole sí, estoy, estoy viendo que da error y, bueno, me equivoqué y me comí por una letra. Está bien formulada, pero me comí la U. Yeah, that happens. Don't worry, it's just a practice, okay? So, it's just a practice. Igual a mí me pone el, el corrector ortográfico me cambió letras. Ya. Yeah. Y después de que ya las corregí, las, ¿qué hago para enviarlas? ¿O ya le llegaron? Ella sola llega. No, you don't have to do. You, you, you don't have to do anything. So, it's just to practice. Okay. We are going to check the exercise together, okay, later. I'm just okay. waiting the others to finish. Uh, se tienen que corregir. No. No. So, you can do it later if you want you can practice again so no problem so thank you, you can save the link and, and do it later we are just learning right now it's not an evaluation i mean No es una evaluación, es por orgullo. <risa> Mi orgullo falló. <risa> no, esta evaluación me pegó como mi ex. Me pegó duro. <risa> oh. Yeah, Johnny Depp. <risa> <risa> Algo así. <risa> ah. Tuve ese, de ese cuidado porque eh, en el caso, igual en algunas de la plataforma, incluso cuando no ponemos mayúscula, la da por bala. Uh -huh. ah, yeah. Entonces, igual aquí una letra es diferencia, pero. Ok. Aquí, yo, ahí, yo, 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 yo. <risa> hey, teacher, what is the mistake in these sentences? I don't understand this. I I I responded to you in WhatsApp. Um, you wrote the school, and that is not in the exercise. Oh. That's a mistake. That's that's all. Okay, let's start checking the exercise together. Well, actually, I'm going to take the second attendance first. <laughs> you you wrote the school. Yeah, and the is not part of the exercise. Only school, no the school. That is the mistake. Yeah, yeah. Got it, okay. <laughs> okay, the second attendance people ready to respond, please. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Listen. Good. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Present. Okay. Eric Edenilson Escobar. Present teacher. Yes. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present teacher. Yes. Evelyn Guadalupe Gómez. Present. Good. Hernán Antonio Tacón. Present teacher. Yes. Gabriela Arevalo. 
Present teacher. Perfect. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Okay. Jose Abel Isaguirre. Presente. Thank you. Jose Miguel Mata. Present. Okay. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Perfect. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Okay. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Yeah. Nelson Orlando Tejada. Present. Perfect. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Pedro Alexander Osorto. René Alessandro Teresón. Okay. okay. Ruth Abigail Brito. Present. Good. Sofía Carolina Hernández. Present. Okay. William Alexander Paniagua. Present. Thank you. Suleima Rosibel Catalán. Jorge Luis Martínez. Present. Okay. And Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let me mute you all for a moment. Okay, so the first one is where do they come from? Where do they come? Good. Please write in the chat the second question. Write the second question in the chat. Okay. Yes. What does she do? Correct. Hey, okay. number three. Right, number three. Okay, good. Number three, please. Let me see. Uh huh, uh huh, yes. Okay, good. When do you eat breakfast? Perfect. Number four. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Why does he study English? Good. Number five. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, Evelyn and Nelson, check the order, please. Uh huh, uh huh. How many books do you read per year? Let me explain you something. The question word includes books because that is the question. ¿Qué estoy preguntando? La question word no solo es how many en este caso, 
sino que tenemos que agregar hasta books. Todo eso es the question word. How many books? Because it, it, that is my question. Then eso es, eso es lo que yo quiero saber. Esa es la pregunta. Ok. Entonces todo eso se convierte en a question word. Cuando usamos how much or how many, usualmente parte de la question word es aquello que queremos saber cuánto o cuánta de, de, de algo, ¿no? En este caso son books. Por eso, how many books es la question word, después el auxiliar to, después el subject, después el verbo y lo demás. Think. Number six. Sugar, he, how much does want? Aquí se aplica lo mismo. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Perfect. How much sugar does he want? Number seven. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. Come on, right, people. No se coman el much. Ah, bueno, pero ahí no dice much, perdón, me estoy inventando. Yo estoy inventando. Ya, yeah, es correcto. How is? How is your house? Yeah, you're right. Yes, how is your house? Good. Number eight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, estamos en la number eight. Muy bien, si esa es, alguien me puso la number nine, but we are on number eight. Okay, when do they play soccer? Number nine. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. Uh Yes. Okay, question. What is different in this question? Que no lleva auxiliar. Yes. ¿Qué más? What is your sujeto. tales? No, the question is good. My question. El sujeto. Mm, en, ese caso, en ese caso, teacher, el sujeto es tácito. No. No. Ah, no, olvídelo, olvídelo, olvídelo. The subject is the answer. You are asking for the subject. Aha, uh -huh. one difference is that we don't use auxiliary verbs in questions el, with who. El, el verbo está en tercera persona. Yes, that is the second difference. The verb is in third person singular. Okay. And that is the form, the correct form for questions with who. That is perfect. In questions with who, number one, we don't use auxiliary verb. That is, we don't use to 
nor does. Never. Better not say never. Because, um, questions with who? And second, the verb is in the in uh, third uh, person singular. Yeah, reads. That is the form, the correct form. In questions with who? Okay. And for example, what is the answer for this question? Just to invent something. Who reads your tales? My brother. You can respond this just saying my brother does. For example. My brother is practically is the subject. But we are looking for the subject. We are asking for the subject. And we respond in this form, my brother, to not repeat, my brother reads, my brother reads short tales. So to not repeat that, you only say, my brother does. Okay. Okay, I'm going to erase this. Okay, number 10. Aha, uh -huh. very good, Evelyn. Good, Luis. Good, son. Okay, Pedro. Uh -huh. And the rest? Come on, people. Right. Yes, yes. Eric, Hernan. Okay, that is the question. When do you celebrate your birth? Perfect. 11. Uh -huh. Yes, Evelyn, Eric. Where does he read the newspaper? Okay, William. Uh huh, yes. Right, right. Uh huh. Yes, Ruth. Perfect people. Where does she read the newspaper? <laughs> In the bathroom. <laughs> okay, perfect. Number 12. Uh huh. Very good, Evelyn. Good, Rene. Okay, Luis, Otilio, yes. Okay, Hernan. Perfect. How many brothers do you have? All right. ¿Cómo está? Okay, number 13. Okay, um, be careful with the question mark in capital. Initial at the beginning, capital letter. Uh, okay, very good, Nelson, Arnan. Well, Jose Miguel, Eric. Okay. Okay. Very good. How often does she travel by Europe? 14. Aha, uh -huh. again, okay. You see, no auxiliary verb and the verb in third person singular. Perfect.
number 15. Write it, please. Uh huh. Okay. Perfect. Where do you go to school? 16. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. What does your sister buy in the store? Perfect. Seventeen. Okay, yes, Pedro, René, Jose, Nelson, Eric, uh -huh, Jennifer, yes, Evelyn. Okay, Marcos, watch out the capital letters, the question mark. How often does he go to the movies? 18. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. When do you get up? Perfect. Now, 19. Yeah, very easy, right? Okay, what time is it? And 20. Uh-huh, Luis, Evelyn, yes. Oh, I need a lot. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Okay, how much money do you need? Perfect. Let's check. Comprobar mis respuestas. Yeah, perfect. Everything green. 10 out of 10. Great. Let's practice the pronunciation of these questions, okay? Repeat, please. Let me see if I can. Okay. Repeat. Where do they come from? Where do you where, where do they come from? from? Where do you like from? What does she do? What does she do? What does she do? When do you eat breakfast? When do you eat breakfast? Do you eat breakfast? Why does he study English? How many books do you read per year? How many books, many books do you read per year? Per day? Per year. How much sugar does he want? How much sugar does he want? One. Only a sugar daddy. <laughs> How is your house? How is this house? In your house? Or a sugar mommy? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> when do they play soccer? 
When, when do they play soccer? Play soccer. Who reads short tales? Who reads short tales? When do you celebrate your birthday? When do you celebrate your birthday? When do you celebrate your birthday? Where does she read the newspaper? Where does she read the newspaper? Newspaper. Newspaper. How many brothers do you have? How many brothers do you have? How often does she travel by Europe? How often does she travel by Europe? Who studies English? Who studies English? This word is Europe. 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 Where do they go to school? Where do they go to school? What does your sister buy in the store? What does your sister buy in the store? Buy in the store. How often does he go to the movies? How often does he go to the movies? When do you get up? When do you get up? When do you get up? What time is it? What time is it? 9.20, teacher. How much money do you need? Well, a couple of thousand dollars. <laughs> Only men. A million. A million? Wow. Only. Only <laughs> men. They have a birth over three million. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, let me see. Did you study in English? Did you study in English? Okay. <laughs> Less. Okay, let's see. One, vo one volunteer, please. One volunteer. Do you study, study English? Okay. Do you study English? Yes, I do. No, okay, but tell me, who, who wants to be the volunteer? Eileen. Yeah, Luis? Do you study English? Okay, repeat. Do you study study English? This? Where do you study English? Uh -huh. And one more. Some, do you somebody study else. English? One more person or yeah, another person. Thank you. Luis. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Who? No volunteers? Do you study English? Uh-huh. Or do you study English? Uh-huh. Okay. One more. Let me see. Study Eva. Somebody else? The dog. Okay, Rene. Do you study English? Uh huh. And here, where do you study English? Ah, oh, you got it. Yeah, that is the point. This is a yes/no question, right? And this is an information question. And they have different intonation. That is the point here. I want to show you. The intonation is different for yes/no questions and information questions. 
Yes, no questions have a rising intonation. So the intonation goes up. Do you study English? Yes, I do. I study English at Inglés Corporativo. Okay. Publicity. Do you study English? See, that is the intonation. Go is going up. Do you study English? But yes, no questions have a falling intonation. Where do you study English? Where do you study English? You see the difference? Do you study English? Where do you study English? It's different, okay? Let's practice with some other questions. For example, do you like pizza? See? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay. So this, do you like pizza? What pizza do you like? Do you pizza. like pizza? <laughs> what pizza do you like? Actually, I prefer... I like Pizza Hut. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you see? One more. Uh, does she work on Sundays? Okay. One volunteer to read these questions. Does, Does she, she work, work on Sunday? Sunday. Again. Does she work on Sundays? Up. Going up. Does she work on Sundays? Uh huh. In the second. Why? Why does she work on Sunday? Kind of, yeah. Acá tiene que comenzar abajo. Does she work on Sunday? Does Sundays? she work on Sunday? Does she work on Sundays? Why does she work on Sunday? Why does she work on Sunday? Yeah. La gente que está ahí. Okay, <laughs> turn off your microphone. We're talking about uh, mute, Pedro. mute your microphones. <laughs> okay, so just to practice. Okay, repeat, please. Do you study English? Do you study English? Come on, people. Do you study English? 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 Where do you study English? Where do you study English? Where do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? What pizza do you like? What, what, what pizza, pizza do you like? Pizza do you like? Does she work on Sundays? Does she work, she work on Sundays? Sunday? Why does she work on Sundays? Why does she work on Sundays? <laughs> okay, so it's interesting, but I know. We in Spanish, we don't have that difference. 
we have the same intonation for every question, right? But in English, no. There's no questions. How about rising intonation? Going up. And information question have falling intonation. Going down. Okay. Any question with this, people? All right. Very good. Now, let's see. What else do I have for this review? Uh, we have three minutes. Let me see if we can work on this. Okay, I will share another link here in what in Zoom. This is the link. And that will send you to this activity. Let me show you. Okay. WH questions, okay? You have to complete these questions. This is kind of easy. Yeah, you have to find out what is the question word to complete the question. But uh, first you can study the, the exercise. With the link, First, please go here where it says study, study. Click here, study, and you go to study mode, modo estudiar, and you can practice the questions, study the questions. The first one is, why is she late? Why is she late? Okay. The second one, why are you at home today? Why are you at home today? The third one, whose books are on the table? Whose books are on the table? And so on, okay? There are several questions here. So first, I want you to study the questions. Click on the, on the magnifier, on the Lupita, and practice and study the questions. How many questions? Uh, all, all of them. All of them, all right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I think you can do it in like six minutes. Go ahead. When you finish studying the questions, raise your hand. Just to let me know that you are done.
why you are tired.
I think you you should have finished already. Okay, so let me show you what uh, are you going to do. Okay, let's see. We are going to play so how many groups how we are okay we're going to make four groups options partial credit high score pass timer lose points yeah Okay, glad. Um, and now uh, I want more. I want more. Give me a second. I'm four teams, twenty four options. Is that lose point? Okay, now it's better. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make four teams. Four teams. Let me see. Where is the breakout rooms? One, two, three, four. Recreate four teams. Okay, there it is. Team one are Atilio, Consuelo, Evelyn, Jose, Nelson, and Sofia. Team two, Hernan, Jorge, Pedro, Rene, and William. Team three, Eric, Jennifer, Jose, Abel, Jose Fernando, and Tony. Team four, Eric, the Nilsson, Jennifer, Luis, Marcos, and Ruth. Okay, I will be calling your names. Okay, so I will call your name and you have to respond, completing the question correctly. Okay? Okay. Well, let's start with Team one, Hernan. Okay, Hernan, are you ready? You have 10 seconds to respond. Your question is, Hernan, yeah. complete the question. Hernan. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? No, was how are you? Okay. It was how are you? Oops. Okay. Uh oh, <laughs> lose 20 points. Okay, Eric. Oh, no, 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 no. What I'm doing? Okay. Ah, I made a mistake. Okay. Oh, let me see. Let me do something. Okay. No, Atilio, you're next. Ready, Atilio? Oh, good luck. No, bad luck. Give points to team three. You have to give points to three. Team three, how many points are you going to give? Five, 10, 15, 20, or 25? Atilio? Five. Five. <laughs> Come on. Okay, number, team three, Eric Jose. Eric Jose, your question is? Ah. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, team four. 
Eric Edenilson. <laughs> Your question is Edenilson. Edenilson. Yeah, where? Where is your cell phone number? Oh, where? What? What? Ah, no, 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 too late. Where? You say where. No estén soplando, no estén soplando. Maña. Oops. Pero le podemos ayudar al mismo del equipo, ¿no? Oh, no, 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 no. Consuelo, your turn. Consuelo. Okay. Complete the question. No, no se me... uh, what is his current? What? What? No, why? Why? <laughs> Come on, people. Okay. Jorge, your question. Who? Complete the question, read. Who is your favorite singer? Who? What? Oh, what? Oh, that's correct. Who? Okay, wow. good. Okay. Uh, team three, uh, Jennifer Lisette. Your question. Jennifer Lisette. Where? When? When is making the today? No. Ah. Who is making the la, la today? Who is making the today? Who is making Okay. Team four. Jennifer Gabriela. Your question. Ten seconds. Where? Where? Complete the okay. question. Where? Is the party? Ah, yes. Is it when or where? Correct. Yeah. Good. Team one. Evelyn. Your question. <laughs> Evelyn. What one's an apple? What? Which? Which? Who wants an apple? Who I you didn't study people. Okay, team two. Pedro. Oh no. I'm sorry, Pedro. Go to last place. Okay, team three, Jose Abel. Your question. Okay. Where live is in that Wait. house? Where? Where? Wait. Who Wait. lives in that house? Oopsie. You didn't study people. Luis Miguel, your question. Why are you tired? Check. Yes. Good. Okay, team one, Jose Miguel. Your question. When, when you, when are you at home today? I don't think so. Why are you at home today? Oops. Uh, Ante, Tony. Rene, your question. Oh, take points from team four. Woo. Okay. 25. 25. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you said 25. Okay. Good. Team four. <clears throat> Marcos Vidal. 
your question. Excuse me, what is the post office? Okay, yes, very good. Why did I do? <laughs> okay, Jose Fernando, your question. Jose Fernando. Uh, Where is the park? What, what is the park? What is the park? Where what? Is the park? No. Where? Is the park? Where? Oopsie. Team one. Who's next? No. Jose Miguel. Okay. Your question. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Es que no me bañé. Te levantaste del lado izquierdo. Good. Okay. Now, René, your question. Uh. Ah, René? What? René? Dijo who? What? At the end, I heard what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No. <Nah. laughs> well, ya deben menos, ya deben menos 15. <laughs> <laughs> Team 3, Ruth. Yes. Ruth? What is your best friend? Who? Who? Sorry. Okay, team four. Ah, ya pasaron todo. Vamos a repetir entonces. Erika de Nilsson. Your question. Eh, sería who's who's hey, what who's hey. he said what no dijo who's no. dijo who's no somebody else said who's. <laughs> oh no okay team one mm -hmm. Sofia no Nelson Nelson? Wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How many? No. Oh. Um, <laughs> How many? 25. 25? <laughs> it's the second time. <laughs> <laughs> now you have positive points now. Five points. Team 4 is minus 80. The big <laughs> Okay, team two, William. Pero por sustracción. Your question. They are both. What? 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 <laughs> no. Why? Why? Oopsie. Team three, uh, Tony. Your question. What time, <laughs> what, what, what time is it? Okay. Dijo, dijo why. <laughs> In the winner is team one. Wow. 24, uh, 24, team four. Okay. Jennifer, Gabriela. Uh oh. Jennifer Gabriela win 25 points. Okay. And the winner is team one. Wow. On. With five the points. The I am manual. Uh, <laughs> 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 
Nah, Nelson, but... desde ya. Nelson, Nelson, noche mágica desde ya. Desde ya. Ah, you cannot celebrate. Remontada. You cannot celebrate five points only. Come on. <laughs> okay, people. Well, I was celebrando. <laughs> celebrando haber ganado experiencia. <laughs> viene el agua, ya viene el agua que está haciendo mucho calor. Okay, well, we studied the um, uh, questions in simple present. I will give you uh, a link here just to practice later. You can do it at home. Um, actually, I will put it in WhatsApp because we are going to close the meeting and you won't be able to see it. Let me show you. What activity is so if you want to practice a little bit more at home when you're on your free time the activity is this let me just show it to you it's a, a reading you have to read this about Emma's daily routine. Yeah, there is a paragraph here about Emma's daily routine. You read it and there are some questions. What happens at the given times? According to the text, what happens at uh, 8.30? 8 what happens at nine o'clock? what happens at 11, et cetera, okay? Then this third activity is answer the questions about Emma. How old is Emma? Where does she live? How many brothers and sisters has she got? This is a British form to ask how many brothers and sisters does she have? Has she how? Yeah. Esta es otra forma de preguntar, una forma más británica, ¿verdad? de preguntar how many brothers and sisters does she have? Ya, yeah, es lo mismo. How many brothers and sisters has she got? Es lo mismo. Es una forma british. Oh. Eh, number four, match the underline words to the symbols. Uh, this is more um, related about the, the uh, frequency. Usually, always, always never, never, sometimes, sometime, seldom, often. No, often. Yeah. What is seldom? The, seldom is uh, pocas veces. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And well, number five, put the words in order to make sentences. That's it, just to practice it. If you want to practice a little bit more simple present, you can do it on your free time. Okay, the link is in WhatsApp. Well, let's take the last attendance of the evening. And uh, well, remember that you must finish unit one today. The five homeworks of unit one should be done today. All right? All right. Okay. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Okay, good night. Consuelo Saray Rivas. Good night. Good night, Consuelo. Erika Denilson Escobar. Present. Good night. Good night. Eric Jose Hernandez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Evelyn Guadalupe Gomez. Present. Okay, don't go. No, don't go. <laughs> 
Hernán Antonio Chacón. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Jennifer Gabriel Arevalo. Present teacher, bye. Bye bye. Jennifer Lisette Aquino. Present. Okay. Jose, Jose Abel Izaguirre. Here present teacher, good night. Good night. Jose Miguel Maza. Present and good night. Good night. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher and good night. Good night. Luis Miguel Corvera. And good night, guys. Good night. Marcos Vidal Umaña. Present. Good night. Nelson Orlando good Tejada. Night, Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Pedro Alexander Osorto. Present. Good night. Okay. Good night. Uh, René Alessandro Teresón. Here I am, teacher. Good night. Good night. Ruth Abigail Brito. Present. Okay, good night. Sofia Carolina Hernandez. Present, Okay, good night, Sofia. William Alexander Hi. Paniagua. Present, good night. Good night. Suleima Rosibel Catalán. Jorge Luis Martinez. Present, good night. Good night, and Jose Fernando Marroquín. Present. Okay, thank you for attending. Good night, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, Okay, Evelyn, how are you? Turn on your microphone, please. Okay, I'm fine, you do, teacher. Very good, very good. You have any... yeah, not really, not really. I had a lot of free time today. Okay. <laughs> um... I complete the uh, unit two and pass a middle, I don't know, how se dice la? Midterm. The midterm exam, uh -huh. Okay. Pero en lo que tengo que estudiar, no recuerdo cuando utilizar el daily. Es la primera vez que lo veo. Daily. <laughs> Daily o weekly o yearly, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ah, ajá, ajá. Eh, no sé en qué momento se utiliza. Uh, those are like um, time expressions. Uh -huh. Okay, so daily means every day. Okay. Okay. But daily. I can say every day. Yes, it's the same. No problem. But is it correct because in the in the exam or the in the uh, the option is every day, days or daily. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well. Maybe, the, well, if, I don't know, I have to see that exercise was. <laughs> For example, I remember. Um, Let's see the exercise in the platform. Hmm? Is, is the exam, is the midterm exam? Yes. Yes, yes. Let me check. Well, uh, weekly, each week. Uh -huh. 
uh, when uh, use the different vocabulary, for example, days, daily, every day. Ah, yeah. You e see. It's the yeah. same because but in the, I don't know. Bueno, aquí, por ejemplo, if you see, dice every day. Mm -hmm. Esto está incorrecto. Porque no se usa every day. Ok. Entonces, si aquí tal vez la opción fuera every day, sería correcto usarla. Mm -hmm. Pero every day no existe. Ok. Por eso no es una opción correcta de respuesta. Igual days. Sí, tampoco porque no tiene sentido. My boss writes reports days. Ok. No. Aquí sí, como le decía, puede ser my boss writes reports daily or every day. Okay. No every days. Ok, es el, el truco. <risas> sí, esa es la cascarita aquí, ¿verdad? Que every day no existe. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque every day es como decir cada día. No cada día. No cada día. Uh -huh. Por eso es que no la acepta como correcta. Ok. Pero que son sinónimo. Every day ese every day y daily sí ah, ok eso no, no sabía si había alguna diferencia de utilizar every day o daily igual que ah. weekly ajá uh -huh. and each week yeah pero yeah. no weeks ah. ¿Verdad? Week. each week or every week también se puede decir ok Así como dice every day, puede decir every year, every hour, every month, every week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ¿Ves? Sí, han puesto esa cascarita aquí porque le agregan la S y eso es correcto. ¿Ves? Every year. Every year sin la S, sí, es sinónimo de yearly. Mm -hmm. Pero con la S, no. Eso no existe. Ok. Ah. Pero vamos a llegar a eso, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, claro. Vamos a ver. Excelente. Yo creo que solo eso tenía inquietud. Que estaba avanzando y me quedé con que... Mm. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. how, how was Águila this weekend? Do you did, do you go to the stadium? When? Yes. Yeah. Where where did they play? In San Miguel. Yes, in San Miguel. Ah. Oh. Change the play. Oh really? Yeah. When when? Um. Before no. Sí, yes. Before and uh, you said the the how do you say reglas? Rules. Rules. Uh, because a uh, águila, uh, how do you say castigado? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, was punished. Was punished. Uh, okay. And no, no play in the stadium. Oh, really? Yes. Ah. And, and we change the, the uh, we change the, the play on. Um, uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> where, where are they playing? In stadium. Estadio Ah. But this weekend, o sea, last Sunday, 
they played in San Miguel? Uh, the last. Yes. Yes. Oh. Aguila versus Alianza. Last Sunday. El domingo pasado. El Sunday. No. Um, Saturday. Uh -huh. Prayer. Aguila Alianza. Really? No. No. Once Deportivo. Ah. And what happened? The um, I no sé cómo dice tal vez. <laughs> lose? Lose the, the play. Really, Águila? Once uh, Deportivo. Once uh, Deportivo. Uh, eh, ay, no, bajo. Ajá. Uh -huh. En la tabla de posiciones. Ah, that's bad. Yes. Is a uh, next Saturday. Uh, is a. Uh, último. Last. 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 Uh -huh. Uh, the next Saturday is last play soccer. <laughs> no play um, game. Uh -huh. You can say game uh -huh. or, or match. Or match. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. match. We yeah. after uh, pass the other classification. Uh -huh. It's important because I the position uh -huh. then the with what much he play the next <laughs> uh, match. Ah okay. I <laughs> yeah, but we are learning, so vamos in this process. No. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, Evelyn, that's all for today. Okay, teacher. Thank you for attending. Have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye.